Hey everyone, this is Kate. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, Kate here in Denver, I'm the face behind uh, Qatari, Qatari brand. And thank you so much Opal Avenue for allowing me to today to show what we have created with Qatari. I'm very excited uh, to introduce you to Qatari new product and talk a little bit more about um, what we have done. This is truly incredible and I'm so, so happy for the opportunity and uh, to show everyone. Hi Vanessa, I see you joining in. Hi Vanani, uh, thank you so much once again. So before we go in into showing actually what has been done, let me uh, once again introduce myself. Hi, <laughs> uh, so everything is, is uh, just talking about Qatari and I'm sorry this is my first time on Instagram live so in part my accent I'm Russian <laughs> this is why uh, if you don't understand me send me a comment and tell me Kate slow down speak slower smile more <laughs> anyways I'm really really excited and um, what we're going to talk to today about is something that's very very different but should be really very common in natural beauty and I'm so grateful for what we have created with the amazing team uh, of artisans in Cairo. And uh, hopefully they will join, some of them will join the live feed soon and they will hear and then they'll see what they have accomplished. So it's kind of going global. We have people joining in from all over the world and I'm just so thrilled to share all of this, what we have done. Uh, talking about Qatari a little bit and myself. Again, I'm Kate, um, Denver, Colorado here, but naturally I came from a different country as many of us did. I'm from Russia and uh, uh, I came here as a penniless student uh, and I pretty much built my American dream here by myself. And of course, nothing happens by yourself. You have to have a team of amazing people behind you supporting and uh, uh, just helping all the way. So once again, I'm Kate. Uh, Qatari has started in 2010 and uh, what I wanted to do, I never even thought that uh, starting a beauty company will be anything different from what I did uh, and many people don't know that. Uh, turns out that I'm really bad at explaining what I really do and why uh, Qatari Beauty is a very different company. Hey Mia, uh, just uh, see more people joining and wonderful. So anyways, Qatari is very different in a way that uh, thank you, thank you so much. I see great comments. Uh, Qatar is very different in a way that I don't just create products. I don't mix anything. Uh, it's not me. It's really not me. It's the people who I know through my travels all over the globe who are the masters of ancient crafts, uh, who are creating amazing recipes for many generations, who create incredible handmade accessories, who make things that uh, we forget that we should be using. And they're just so simple, so natural, and so incredible that I, I really love sharing it with people. And I honestly don't do a super good job about that uh, because you know when you travel to some of those amazing places, they're so amazing that the internet doesn't work there. The phone doesn't work there. So therefore, my social media feed is very poor because I just don't have time to uh, kind of get on the, the webs and uh, show what we have been doing, but I'll, I'll promise I'll do a better job. Anyways, Kate here, thanks again for joining. And um, a couple of other things I wanted to tell you about uh, why Qatari did what we did and why it's so important. So um, when I started Qatari, obviously I have this, those magnificent ingredients, like the purest rose water that's made out of just rose petals and uh, it's a uh, vapor distilled made by the artisans in Tunisia. We have those beautiful oils. We have those single ingredients. So I package them. Of course, I don't want to package them in plastic. But as a small brand, what options do I have? When I go on the web and I start researching, and believe me, I researched everywhere. I went everywhere I could trying to find the best packaging options available and they're just not so many. You want to have something uniform that looks beautiful, that looks kind of cohesive, that looks good and uh, things that don't break. Um, but 
again, you cannot go custom because uh, custom is very expensive. And I'm sure most of, uh, of you, because you own your own companies, you know that it's very expensive to do pretty much anything. So you get stuck and then you have to compromise. And I really don't like compromises. I really don't like when people say no to me. I usually, thanks for the hearts. Uh, I, I really love when I can find a different way to, um, to create something. Hi, for joining, thank you so much. I don't know, it's CJ, SJ, sorry, hi, uh, thank you. Uh, anyways, this is Kate, Denver, Colorado, Qatari Beauty, and uh, we're just talking right now about what we have done and why we have done it. Uh, talking about packaging. So my issue with packaging was that it was obviously expensive. It was, a lot of it was plastic. And as a beauty industry, we do not do enough to um, create something that's more sustainable, more green, more recyclable. And I love the idea of being able to make a change, a paradigm shift, if we can, in beauty industry and show that Packaging should not be what it is now. Thank you, Benani. I see Benani in Morocco. Products are excellent, but the problem in marketing and packaging. Yes, so maybe together we can solve it. I'm seriously, I'm so excited. Um, so the packaging options were really poor. And then I learned something even worse when I started researching it that obviously we went, so the company started in the United States. And okay, I have my packaging, I have my jars, I have my plastic caps, which they're wonderful, but sometimes they don't work, they break, they chip, they clog, and my customers complain. And they should complain, because when you buy an expensive or luxurious product, you expect that things work perfect, right? And sometimes they just don't. So what are the options again? So Qatari went to... Um, to expand and I was so grateful because I have an opportunity now to have my products in Russia which is my uh, motherland I guess I was born and raised there before coming to the US and uh, uh, then um, we realized in Russia and in Europe that all packaging there is also manufactured pretty much in China so what happens you have a Chinese manufacturer who um, who sells it to a distributor who sells it to another distributor and eventually I get it so obviously there's a huge carbon print there is a huge amount of expense transport uh, time and uh, consistency and the quality just was not there um, nothing against China in particular, but just for me as a brand, as a small brand, if I cannot afford to create my own packaging, which I could not, uh, then I am stuck uh, with buying what China has or uh, companies um, bring from China, which also I didn't like as an option. So what did we do? We did something very creative. So I'm, I'm so, so excited to show you. But before we jump into that, I wanted to uh, show you something else. So, and I see people from Morocco here, and yes, the products are amazing, but we are all stuck with the same exact issue. So, um, Qatari artisans have been creating this wonderful thing. So pretty much all Qatari accessories right now are handmade. They're all UNESCO, well, not all, but some of them are UNESCO crafts that are all sustainable and everything is just beautiful. Why it's so important to have sustainable and clean packaging options? It's because uh, when we already have amazing ingredients, right? I have this great oil, it's organic, it's cold pressed, it's wonderful. So it's hyperallergenic, but now I'm putting it in plastic. So the shelf life of this oil goes down which is horrible because obviously I want to use it for a long time. Um, and then and I did testing. So basically I put the same products in plastic and in glass and kept them for three, four, five years. And then I checked periodically to see the smell, the texture, the consistency and everything else. Um, thank you, Vanessa. I really appreciate it. This is what we're trying to do. And this is um, the things that people usually don't see or know about uh, brands or other people uh, we're really trying to go deep as deep as possible trying to make huge changes in beauty and make beauty really green really sustainable and we're right now not doing a good job as a as a whole as a uh, as an industry but i think we're all trying so once we have more options together i think we can conquer this and make much better impact on the world and environment and on lives in general and lives is what matters too so when you're packaging something in plastic 
obviously it changes the shelf life of the product. It changes the chemical composition of the product. When you mix your uh, beauty recipes in something that is not um, neutral, it also changes chemical properties of the mixture. And all of a sudden, the benefit is diminishing. So if you're a cosmetologist, or if you're doing it yourself in your house, uh, and you're applying a mask, and you're using plastic, or something that is not neutral to the ingredient that you're mixing, all of a sudden, you're not doing a good job, because you're applying something that potentially could be harmful or less beneficial to your biggest organ, skin. So, hi, I see more people joining. Uh, this is Kate here, and um, uh, Katari Beauty. <laughs> thanks, so, thanks so much for tuning in. Anyways, uh, the issue with the packaging was not only the glass that I had or the plastic that I had, but, but if you think about it, and this was shocking, absolutely shocking to me. So when I learned that uh, the glass bottles that I buy First of all, they're made in China, most of them, and uh, they have plastic pre-mixed into the glass. So that makes it not recyclable. So how horrible is that? It's, it's really bad because I didn't know that. I'm thinking I'm wonderful because I'm packaging it in the most inert, neutral material possible. So yes, packaging totally can affect formula quality. And this is why um, there is something that, you know, the chemists, they use lab grade quality glass, which is absolutely neutral. Why it's so important is because you don't want any formulations to be affected by anything that you do. So you want to have ingredient as pure, as stable, and as positively charged with all of the radiance that you created and keep it there for as long as possible. So, um, okay, uh, anyways, this is kind of like, there was just so many eye-opening things for me and I am so excited that I was able to learn about that, but still I thought that I would not be able to do anything to make a change because I cannot go against China or against huge manufacturers, who am I? But wait, we did it. So, and it's just like, things, things in life happen kind of randomly, and then the group of artisans from Cairo, Egypt, uh, came across my way uh, randomly, and they were the most wonderful people. So, thank you so much, Lamia, thank you so much, uh, Mohammed, and the person who made all of this, what I'm going to show you, his name is Ali. Uh, when I showed him my sketches, my designs, so I brought my little book with my two-year-old uh, scribbling all over my drawings, um, and they said, like, oh, that's easy, let me make it. In about two minutes, he made all of this. And I'm sure that Opal Avenue, or you can see it on my feed, uh, I'm going to be sharing videos of actually how we made it. All kinds of crazy stories from the travels and uh, just showing like what we've done. Hi, thanks for joining in. Thank you so much. Yes, um, so anyways, let me get into actually showing what we have created and why it's so important for you. So for mixing, for application, and for storing products, you would want to have the most inert, the most neutral materials you can possibly find. And glass is uh, something that can be and should be used more often. Uh, some, sometimes people say like, oh, you know, I don't want to use it because it breaks or it's this or that. But technically speaking, um, again, you want to use something that does not affect the quality of the work that you do, something that feels amazing in your hands, something that you can sanitize well, something that is made with the highest degree of quality. And um, also, uh, as Qatari, as a brand, we decided to completely go away from eventually, in a few months, and we're making strands with that, we're going to, oh, thank you so much, Mia. Uh, hi, uh, thanks for joining. So yes, we're going to make a bunch of crazy changes and hopefully we can also help other brands. Me as Qatari brand is, is not, um, I don't want to just do it for me. I want to do it for us, for other brands, not for my competition. I don't believe in competition. I believe that everybody has a place in a time and uh, all kinds of products are amazing. Um, yes, thank you. Um, yes, I see Benani's comment about the glass, uh, uh, the quality of glass. It's, yes, I've been buying black glass and I look at it and it's fluorescent blue. Okay, or caps break or sprays uh, stop functioning. So this is a big issue for me as a brand because quality is the most important thing for me. 
and uh, I work directly with the villages. I work directly with every single person who creates all of Qatari accessories, all of Qatari ingredients. We are all about simple, and simple is very complex. It's not mass produced, it's not, not mass manufactured. Um, but let me show you actually what we have made. I hope you really enjoy it. And uh, um, at the end of the show, hopefully Mia and uh, Vanessa can share with you some of the details and maybe put it in the text and then uh, shoot out uh, on Instagram and Facebook about um, what, uh, what, how you can purchase this through Opal Avenue or through Qatari on Opal Avenue. And uh, uh, actually today, for because we are pre-launching it right now, I only have, uh, less than a hundred kits made it's because every single item in the in Qatari kit that I'm going to show you is handmade absolutely everything it's, it's pretty cool uh, so I'm going to also send you a present from Qatari and I'm not going to reveal what present it will be until the end but we will definitely send it uh, to you and I think you will be really really excited to see it anyways so let me just really quickly show the whole thing this is not packaged this is just for display but i'm going to show you a little bit it's gonna roll a little because i cannot lift it this way but uh, i'm not sure if you can see it or not and i'll just show one item at a time so what this is is it's a qatari beauty mixing and storage kit and this is suitable for any beauty professional, for any beauty beauty, uh, for anybody who just cares about uh, things that they do for their skin, for the environment, and for the world, and for people. Uh, I don't want to buy cheap plastic. Hi, Bristol Success. Hi, uh, nice, to, nice to see you, and uh, thanks for joining. Uh, this is Kate from Qatari Beauty, and uh, today we're talking about something that Qatari created, which is uh, absolutely neutral, to the environment and neutral to the ingredients. Amazing, amazing set. Yes, it can be used for the back bar, for treatment rooms, hi. Um, and it can be used pretty much for anyone who uses any natural ingredients and wants to keep them in their natural state. So I'll start with the mixing utensils that we have created. And again, Qatari is all about neutral accessories because uh, all of our products are neutral. They're pH neutral, they're hyperallergenic, and it's very important um, because skin is, and I'm sorry, I'm just going into tangents about skin, because it's so important to have neutral things, because when skin has something not neutral on it, it freaks out. It really goes, um, it breaks out, it has acne, it has imbalances, it has this, that, you don't want that. So the best thing for the skin is always to have something that skin loves and skin loves neutral pH. So how do you get neutral pH? You use neutral pH ingredients um, and Qatari ingredients randomly. Just I was really surprised but this is kind of like it's so cool. So uh, most of them are absolutely naturally pH neutral and stable. So and then they're all produced. Thank you. I appreciate my accent. Oh, I've been trying to get rid of my accent for years and when I get cold or hungry my accent gets worse. <laughs> So I'm sorry, but again, if you don't understand me, please let me know and I'll try to slow down and explain better. Anyways, so let me start with the mixing accessories. And uh, I already uh, showed it to a bunch of spas and they're very um, excited to actually to use. They've sampled it, they tried it, and it, uh, the feedback has been really phenomenal so far. So if you're in the back room or even if you're in your own um, bathroom and you're creating a recipe a mask or any type of potion a tonic or anything like this thanks vanessa <laughs> i'm really funny no i mean just like you know uh anyways so um we'll start with the little mixing mixing bowl and it's made out of glass there is no plastic here no plastic <laughs> and it, it's absolutely gorgeous so you can use Usually I use my, just my, like I put ingredients there and I just use my finger to mix because I have a two year old so I'm very busy and uh, she'll probably steal whatever I have in my hands and run away with it. So I don't have time for much. But in the treatment room environment, obviously you will have either some sort of a mixing utensil or you'll have one of the items that we have created. Thank you. Um, so this is, we made a straw that is absolutely gorgeous frosted glass straw 
uh, why it's really cool and good for professional environment because you want to sanitize this you want to put it in the warming cabbie you want to have your mixture ready and warm sitting there waiting for this wonderful warm mask thank you yes for apothecary experience it will be amazing uh, for both clients because um, estheticians uh, surprisingly for like many industries have beautiful accessories beautiful utensils but uh, aesthetics and cosmetology doesn't have enough where people can just when they're working with their hands they want to have something really really beautiful right and beautiful is nice because you can I mean I want to have something cute in my hands I want to use it more more often and it makes me feel good about what I'm doing. Thank you for the hearts. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So um, you can use any type of finger brush, uh, spoon, anything for mixing in Katari like little tiny bowl. So this is one of the items that goes inside of the kit. And then we made the straw. So of course the straw is a straw, but you also can use it, and I'll show you, as a um, dropper. Why? Because you can just like some of the, um, some of the masks you can just have just a little bit of, like a couple of drops of water or oil added, and you can just use it as the dropper to add specific items to your recipe. Or if you want to use it for cocktails or Katari tea afterwards, you can do that too. And we're working on the Katari tea recipe, I have some ideas. So it's, it's coming next. Um, yes, so this is the, the two items uh, to start with. And then um, we have this gorgeous, gorgeous spoon. And uh, you can use it to scoop out uh, the ingredients that you use. So again, everything is lab quality material. And I'm just showing you Kateri clay, so this is the powder. And you can just scoop it out, and I'm not sure if you can see it really well, but um, yes, scoop it out and then put it in the mixture to mix your, um, your ingredients. And um, if you have something else, like for instance, you have some um, bigger container, you can use a funnel and we're all about sustainable so sustainable comes with yes buy a bigger thing buy a big glass jar of oil store it well and then put it in little tiny travel containers even for yourself when you travel and this is what i do so i have uh, my little tiny um, bottle so i'll just pour a little bit of oil in there cork it no plastic no 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 plastic zero um, and then um, pour whatever I need. And the same for um, the apothecary. So if you have a beautiful display in your kind of apothecary bar, beauty bar, right? So you can create all kinds of recipes, but it creates such a different layer of beauty when people see some, when you work with gorgeous things and they're not just plastic or silicone or rubber uh, accessories and they're really cool and wonderful to work with. And of course you can change out the media uh, or medium me media medium in English. Uh, so you can use some of the, like for instance, the handmade ceramic bowls from the villages in Tunisia and then the olive wood because it's hyperallergenic and antibacterial uh, as naturally. Um, and glass, you can combine all of it so it just feels very nice in your hands and your clients would just probably appreciate the extra step that you have taken. So these are the accessories. We have the bowl, the spoon, um, the bowl, the spoon, and the, the funnel. These are the mixing accessories. And of course, if anybody ever wants anything else, what's amazing about going custom is you can do anything you want. Just challenge us. Um, and then there's a stor storage portion of the, the whole entire kit where we can put... Hi, Katya. Also, my Russian counterparts are joining in. Thank you. Uh, so we have um, this gorgeous jar that is of course also corked with the, um, not plastic no rubber it's a high quality high grade portuguese cork which is sustainably grown and it fits very tight this one i need to adjust a little bit but i'm just showing you for the purposes of showing uh, so uh, and then inside here you can put any type of lotions potions masks crabs and uh, what i recommend doing with this particular jar when you fill it in like this is the same jar except for that it's not frosted so just to show you um, like right here i have just a clay powder 
if you're an apothecary, you can store your products. If you're a spa, you can mix something for your customer, uh, like a little mask to, um, to go, pretty much to go. And uh, they can buy that or and then just carry it out. And instead of a, a plastic ketchup container, they will have a gorgeous handmade piece that they can use and reuse and reuse. And they can bring it back and refill. Uh, but I think this is so much better to have it uh, when it's just, it's, it's beautiful. I don't know. I'm just, I'm in love with this. <laughs> so and then there's a little tiny spoon so you can scoop out whatever you need um, from the container and from any other containers if you need to. So this one will be for lotions and for something that's not necessarily pouring, uh, not too liquidy. Uh, for the liquidy things, we created um, more kind of like an amphora, amphora type uh, container, right? And these are my just greasy fingers here, so sorry. Uh, so also we have a little cork, and the cork is specifically made for high-end perfumes and oils. So it's the highest strand of cork. And again, when you start educating yourself about even things like cork, you realize like, Oh, well, I can't just buy any. <laughs> it has to be a specific type, so it is. And the glass here, so the frosting on the glass, it's really amazing because it doesn't come off. Like, yes, it can get dirty because of the fingers, but when you wash it, it goes to the perfectly velvety uh, texture. Why? Because it turns out, and I didn't know anything about that. Um, thank you so much for that. Yes, I love it. Uh, I love the shape because it goes back to the ancient times. It goes back to the way how we used to store things. So guess what? We did not have plastic before, right? Um, we did not have anything like this. And just to prove the point, I did go to the Cairo Museum of History and I took pictures of every single piece of packaging they had available. I did. I'll post them. Anybody wants, I send it to them. Why? Because uh, I believe that if we did something like 30, 40, 60 years ago, we did something different and we did not have to use plastic tops, we can absolutely uh, do this again. It's all about education. It's all about telling customers, uh, okay, we don't need to use the spray. We don't need to use the pump. We can, use, we can use what we have here and it works perfectly fine. So I'm like, okay, how do you use it? If, you, if I have, for instance, rose water here, and I'm sorry I didn't pour it, but you just pour it a little bit on your palm, rub it, and then just put it on your face. So instead of the sprayer, sprayer that clogs and stops working occasionally, you have something that's absolutely natural, refillable, custom, handmade. Every single item is handmade. So just watch um, Opal Avenue, watch my feed and see like what we have done and how. So this one I would recommend, this is 30 milliliter. Uh, this will hold quite a bit of um, any type of tonic or any type of um, just anything for the face, right? That you can use uh, or fragrance, anything. Uh, then we have the smaller size of it, it's 15 milliliter. And you can put maybe like some oils or uh, um, mixture of oils, essential oils and other things. And then we have a little tiny baby one. It, it's tiny. It's five milliliter. And this is for most incredibly um, expensive products. Like for instance, Katari has prickly pear cactus seed oil. That's a very long name, Bari. And uh, I package it sometimes for travel and things like this. So just um, think about it. Like you, you go and you just give this something like this for travel or your customers who go for um, lash lift and you give them a little bit of Bari because Bari helps grow lashes uh, because it has vitamin E. So basically uh, every single item can be used in a variety of ways to just create a potion, uh, make your own uh, in-home recipe or do it in the treatment room in the spa and make it so that it's absolutely neutral, inert to all of your ingredients. And it's helping a lot to the art, it's not and, it's uh, the biggest thing behind Katari was um, my ability to, to do something different and to help because I came from a very poor environment in Russia. I never had anything. We didn't have tomatoes, we didn't have toilet paper. Uh, so tomatoes are amazing, toilet paper is great. But, but you know what I mean? So when you have uh, people who hang, can, 
create this by hand, you want to give them the voice. You want to give them the opportunity to show what they can make to the world. And it's not about, uh, people ask me, it's like, okay, as Kataria, what do you guys do? Do you give like 10% to people? Do you give 20% to people? Like, how do you make sure that you support your artisans? And I can say one thing. Uh, one thing is to give money. Money is here today, gone tomorrow. But uh, when you give people an opportunity, how I, I received this opportunity when I came to this country and people helped me. They, they saw that when you're hardworking and when you're trying to make a change, people go crazy. They really, they really try. So uh, they really try to help you. And this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to work with every single artisan, family, nonprofit and co-op directly and give them the ability to show the incredible things that they can make directly to the world. And now, thank you to you, thank you so much for all the hearts, thank you. And uh, now we can show it to more people in more countries and with the Instagram, with Opal Avenue, with all of the opportunities. This is so great that uh, their trades, their skills and their amazing art. Uh, thank you Ali for making this uh, so quickly. <laughs> thank you so much. So I'm really excited. I'm going to uh, probably finish up here in a few. And yes, uh, Opal Avenue, Vanessa and uh, Mia, thank you so much. I really appreciate there is information on the site and uh, we are going to include a gift from Qatari in addition to the kit. So um, please log in there uh, and check it out. And uh, we will start posting some pictures and showing some of the behind the scenes and what how it was all made so you can get even a better idea. Please, please, please share. Share because we have an opportunity to create a, kind of like a packaging revolution, you know, and uh, take this to the next step, take it to completely next level where we as an industry can proudly say we are plastic free. We are actually affecting humanity in a good way. Not that we are not, we are, but we, we can do more. And I'm so proud to be part of this movement and part of the people. I haven't done much, but um, it's a start. So thank you so much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate everybody who joined and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll see you more and do more of the tutorials and show more of the ingredients and things that we have done because there's more in the way, I promise. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Happy holidays.